Hey, what's going on? It's Green Thumb. So, uh, back in the garden today, and uh, I'm here to put some straw down and uh, pull a whole bunch of weeds out, check things out. I'm also laying down some pelletized uh, hen fertilizer as well as some pelletized organic uh, fertilizer. So, and in the process, the uh, gentleman who runs this place gave me a whole bunch of leeks to plant. So I'll spin this around and show you what we're doing here. Okay, here we go. So I apologize for the wind noise, guys. It's it's really windy out here. I had a mic that I got for Christmas, but it won't work. It doesn't work with my iPhone, so I'm uh, I'm in the process of getting another mic. So here's the leeks. Little tiny root ball on them. These are nice, eh? So we're gonna plant these things about four inches apart. And uh, I've got a couple of bales of straw and we're going to end up putting straw around these in a couple of weeks once they've set roots. So it's not complicated. You just take your finger and you're going to bury them about two inches in the ground. So you're going to bury the root mass and about up to where my fingers are. So for you guys that are growing leeks, you wanna bury them in the ground a little bit because when you buy them at the store, this white part here, the only reason that part's white is because they've stopped the sun from getting to it. So we're just gonna rock and roll and there's probably, I don't know, 60 of them here. So we're just gonna work our way down the beds. So not much to see here with the leak. So this video is just going to be kind of a combination of a bunch of stuff we're doing here today. So I'll get the rest of these leaks planted out. I'll show you the bed when we're done. All right. Got all the leaks in. They're uh, about four inches apart. And uh, going to water them in. That's pretty nice looking, eh? Stand back there so you guys can get a good picture of that. All right. Gonna water in those leeks. One more thing growing. All right, here in this trench, we are planting some leftover fingerling potatoes, mostly reds, but there's probably gonna be a couple of whites in there. So we've got some more of that pelletized hen fertilizer, as well as that organic fertilizer. That trench is about six inches deep. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull the soil back over the top, and then I'm gonna put another trench right beside it and then I'm gonna cover it with straw. All right guys, give you guys a bit of a walkthrough. I know it's gonna be hard to see on this bed here, but this is my onion bed. So you can see all the, the onions. I'll get a little closer so you guys can see them. So we got onions there. The kale's coming along really nice. Except for that one, that one's not doing so good. We've got some dill coming up here and uh, green and uh, Swiss chard. There's my radishes. There's the parsley. Look at that, it's already going to flower. We've got uh, rainbow Swiss chard in here. Little tiny rosemary plant, they take forever. The um, cilantro's coming up. Dill's, or the basil's doing nice. There's, uh, as far as I can tell, Nothing so far is happening with the spring onions, although, uh, spring garlic, sorry, although there's a possibility that I may have pulled some out of the ground, mistaking it for grass. Uh, here's the carrot bed. It's kind of hard to see the carrots, but there's little tiny green carrots popping up here. Let's see if we can find one. Uh, little tiny carrots, so there's, they're coming up. Peppers are doing great. Whole big row of peppers here all the way to there. And the leeks I just planted, 
We've got snow peas and the rest of the peas popping up. There's the cabbages. They're rocking. Uh, step over the beds here. So we have the tomatoes interplanted with the onions in front. See all the little onions? Uh, the rest of the tomatoes, they're growing great. Look at that, all the way down to the end. Tomatoes are coming along. Hopefully in the next week or so, they'll be tall enough that we can put them onto the trellis. Uh, you guys haven't seen this yet. So here are all the beans. They've all come up. Beans are looking great. So we've got bush beans and then yellow and green pole beans in two different sections. The cucumbers that the cucumber beetles went out uh, have actually kind of taken off again. But this is what I'm talking about. Let's see if we can film it here. See that yellow bug? That's a cucumber beetle. And you gotta, these things will wipe your plants right out. get one. Where'd he go? Oh, I lost him. Yeah, so these things are everywhere up in the gardens. So, uh, gotta check your cucumbers often. So, dealing with cucumber beetles. This little plant came back to life. I thought it was finished, but she's coming back. Another cucumber plant looking for more cucumber beetles here that's why all these leaves are yellow that's the cucumber beetle doing that good so that's that and what do we got down here Doo -doo -doo. Uh, there's the red fingerling potatoes I just put them in here today so we're starting to fill up the garden beds here's the cucamelons and they look like crap too and that's because the uh, the cucumber beetles uh, apparently like these as well. So when these vines get a little longer, I've got some clips. We're going to clip them up onto this trellis netting when they get a little longer. Because if not, they'll just grow into these big blobs. And we don't want that. But they have little tendrils, right? You can see the little tendrils. And they're really good at climbing. But uh, we're in a super windy field here right now. And it's hard for me to get them to stay so I just keep kind of sticking them on. Look at the potatoes. How's that, eh? We're going to grow lots of potatoes this year. We got uh, two sweet potato plants. Those are slips we started at the homestead. This is all empty bed here. We were going to plant uh, a new melon today. But uh, Tomorrow. These are butternut squash. I gotta weed this bed. So the other day I came here and the whole garden looked like this. I spent almost three hours in the garden. See what I mean? Like, so this stuff is, people call it crabgrass or twitch grass. They call it crabgrass or twitch grass. And if you it's a rhizome based plant. Let's see if I can show you the So that root right there will just continue to grow more grass coming out of it. This stuff is the main plant. So if you pull one, sometimes you'll get, like you can just see the whole ground swells. out here small beans. so we're, uh, we're working on removing this stuff it's hard it's really hard to get rid of. these are uh, these are our five pumpkins they're definitely coming along all right see just constantly weeding see horrible horrible stuff here and these are what are these ones um 
these are our watermelons and they they haven't come up yet that one hasn't come up that one hasn't come up and then this is a little baby cantaloupe so i'm pretty excited to get some cantaloupe and then nothing's come up there so uh i'm gonna come back tomorrow we've got three bales of straw organic straw so tomorrow i'm gonna come we're gonna finish weeding plant some honeydews um and not sure what else is going to get planted tomorrow i'm going to plant a whole bunch of cucumbers at my house and start more cucumbers at my house we're going to fill in this whole row here with cucumbers once they start growing so they have a chance to grow so the only empty bed space left guys out of the whole garden plot is here i'm at the melon patch here where the weeds are so i've got a little spot here where i'm going to plant some honeydews and we have this spot right here between the potatoes and the beans so that's about six feet and then if we come over here oh and the uh the zucchini the zucchini is also coming up so the only actual empty bed space i have left is here right in front of the leeks that's about eight feet and then there's a possibility that uh, my spring garlic is not going to come up up here and if i don't see anything else in about a week from now maybe two weeks at most i'm going to plant um i don't know i'm not <laughs> i'm not sure because i was really banking on that garlic to come up so so here we are There's, there's what we're looking at. So we've got green stuff growing and pretty soon we'll have everything covered with straw and I won't have to worry about weeding as much and I won't have to worry about watering as much because I got to water this whole thing by hand with a watering can. So today I went out and I bought a big ass watering can. It's about twice the size of your standard, you know, standard watering can. And, uh, Watering this is going to be a lot easier once I get uh, some straw down because I don't have to worry about the ground just baking in the sun as much. Because if you talk to some of the other gardens here, so you can see mine, right? I've got the uh, organic mushroom compost on it, which is kind of protecting the soil from getting baked. If you look over here, this is my neighbor's garden, right? Look what's happening here. It's just like rock hard. Hard, hard, hard. Like I'm pushing, I can't break it up. See? That's what I'm talking about. And that's what's going to happen here. Everything is just cooking in the sun. And this stuff is getting so hard. I've talked to other gardeners here and they're like, because this, there's a lot of clay on this property. And when it gets tilled up, it brings a lot up to the surface. So if you keep your soil, um, if you keep your soil covered, it does not allow the sun to bake it and turn it rock hard. So the only issue I'm gonna have once I get that straw down is I'm gonna have slug problems. That's pretty much a certainty, but I have slug mitigation techniques. We'll, uh, we'll get into that in another video, probably, probably the video after I get that straw down because I'm gonna to have to do one right after the other. As soon as I get that straw down, I'm gonna to have to worry about slugs. So yep, so that's the garden guys, quick update. Uh, my battery is about to die on my phone, so I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, subscribe to the channel, guys, if you guys haven't already. Most of my most of the people that watch my channel are not subscribers, so uh, hit that little uh, hit that little subscribe button. Doesn't cost you nothing, and then you can follow the progress of this garden. Like I said, I'll be doing grow guides for pretty much everything in the garden. I'm just waiting for a lot of it to sort of take off, so I can teach you what's going on as things are growing we're going to do some training videos and all kinds of cool stuff so have a good one share this video out if you want to that'd be all right and hope everybody's having a great day grow good food all right see ya peace